demonstrate how to cut them in half. Got it? Yep. Late in the season and we're seeing lots of black, old blown out black conicas like There's a fire following fairy cup. Now you can tell by the fact that it's got the white margin on it, pretty well developed. It's been here a pretty long while. So this is not a new, a new species. It's an old. It's not a new, not a new unit. This is an. Old. Now here are some clues that lead me to believe this is an old burn rather than this year. It's probably last year. You see here, the, the fireweed here that doesn't come in until the second year. And we have uh, spirea. You see these in the rows. Those won't come back the first year after a fire. So this, as well as the moss. So what you see here, although it looks convincing like a like a burn, this is actually a year old, a year old burn. And as such, it's not really a place to look for morels. It's a slippery slope. Looks like the habitat improves uphill. All right, go for it. It's funny how things sometimes do seem to get better when we go up. I'm just going more carefully because it's so slick. There's some natural grays right there. And, uh, they tend to come in later in the same dry habitat here. These are some big boys. Yeah. Not too shabby. You're fine. Couple of mosquitoes in here. These are much darker than the others for some reason. Just a few feet away. Feels good Tim's got some. Feels good to be sweating. Yeah. Lena's got some. Yeah. <laughs> got some in the backpack too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the last 50 yards are always the worst. Scotty's got some. So I didn't want to put them on mushrooms. I'll put them in a bucket. Grays. Yeah. Just a few on that one. <laughs> yeah, those leaves on that one with maybe some merinos. Those are some nice grays. Yeah. Then you have to go out of your way. 
They're pretty dry now. It's amazing how how much they throw off there. That is really something. Yeah, it's just steaming off there. They really are, they're just like pouring off the spores. Putting the warmed butter into the blender there with the truffles and salt. Okay, now let the blender do the rest, huh? It's happening.